right so um i want to talk to y'all about rfk um rfk rfk never wanted to be the president he he never stood a chance of being the president he didn't want to be the president he was only in his race to try to throw off the democrats he felt like um kamala well before kamala got raised he felt like joe biden and Trump, people felt like they were voting for the lesser two evils. So therefore, he felt like getting in the race, Trump had a strong base of supporters, so Trump supporters would still vote Trump no matter what. So he was trying to take away from uh, Joe Biden votes. He felt like uh, if he get in the race, if he take away just a couple percent points away from the Democrats, that Donald Trump will win the election. If you look at the the a lot of the the last two elections, you look at a lot of the states that went either way, they were it was only a few amount of votes that that swung them either way. So he felt like if I could take, you know, 5,000, 10,000 or whatever away from this state of people that vote for me, that could be enough to to tip this election to go for Donald Trump. It was never about the Democratic Party. He not a Democrat. He never been a Democrat. He, if he say he was, he was a fake Democrat. This dude only intentions were to hurt the Democratic Party. I told y'all on another video, he had worms in his brain. He has been accused of sexual assault. He is a fraud. He never, he never wanted to be the president. He knew he never stood a chance of being a president. He never wanted to be the president. He didn't even want to be a Democrat. He made it seem like he wanted to talk to Kamala. He made it seem like he was willing to be a Democrat. He never really was. It was just all for show. This guy was only in it to hurt the Democratic Party. So now he decided to drop out. And when he dropped out, what's the first thing he did? First thing he did, endorse Donald Trump. Second thing he did, try to get a job in the Trump administration. And even in some states, he's saying that he he going to stay on the ballot. He's going to go on the ballots where he feel like he's going to come off the ballots where he feel like Trump already got it. He's going to try to stay on the ballots where he feel like it might be a chance. So basically, he's saying that he in it just to mess up the election. So if anybody fall for this dude or fall for his tactics, then I'm, I'm going to have to say, like, you must need got worms in your brain, too. You might need to go get checked out. Because there's just no way possible that you can see RFK as a good option. There's no way possible you can feel like at this point that he's with Trump that because I was voting for RFK, now I'm going to vote for Trump. It's just not possible. So if you want to vote for a guy who got brain worms, who's with another guy that's has caught in a decline, then you vote for the Republican Party. If you want to vote for somebody who actually had, is going to do something great for this country, you vote for Kamala. But remember, like I said, RFK is a fraud. 